Hey ladies and gents, let's start looking at the physical properties of our two random glass samples. We have sample one on the left and sample two on the right. Now, when we first categorize glass fragments, what we want to do is really go over their physical appearance. So we'll notice that fragment one is blue. As part of this process, we're also going to take a look at what are called markings and fine details. Markings are things that were put in the glass specifically by the manufacturer uh, things like letterings, numbers, uh, specific textures that can be put into glass for grip or for, for beauty, um, designs, things like that. So let's look at, at fragment one. So I don't really see anything that's really textured or anything that looks like it was intentionally placed there. What I do see, however, is a lot of fine details. Fine de details are things that essentially came about accidentally during manufacture or after manufacture during kind of wear and tear on the item. So you see kind of a, a lot of fine little scratches. You see up here by the tip of my finger, a very large chip that was taken out of the glass. You can see a couple of chips on the other side as well. So while this one doesn't have any markings, it certainly does have chips. Now for our second piece of glass, this one's a little bit different. So this one's clear obviously transparent. Uh, I don't see any letters or anything like that on it, but what you, I do notice is that it has this very fine beveled edge, almost like, like a rim of a glass or something like that. So that's something you'd literally put down in markings. Um, but once again, not really chipped. Maybe a small one on this side if you look toward the, toward the edge. But mostly it's kind of transparent with that beveled edge and maybe one or two chips as the fine details. Now, just like with all of our, our physical evidence, we're now gonna go through the actual physical measurements. So we're gonna take the length, the width, and the thickness. Make sure you follow up with the following pictures for that. We're also gonna show you how to measure the volume of a piece of evidence using the water displacement measure uh, method. So stay tuned for that.